Hey team, Kurt Reichert here, Regional Safety Manager for OTC. And welcome to another installment of our Safety Best Practices video series. Today we're gonna to discuss a topic that often gets overlooked, drowsy or sleepy driving. Many of us may not realize that statistically, the most dangerous task you can do at work is driving. In the US, more workers across all industries die as a result of motor vehicle accidents than any other reason. The main reason for this is that there are so many factors and behaviors we cannot control outside of our vehicle. And of course, we all know distracted driving is a leading cause of these accidents. But one factor that often gets overlooked is being sleepy while driving. Drowsy driving is very similar to the effects of driving intoxicated. Let's face it, in our industry, we work hard. Manual labor, long hours out in the elements, in job sites that are spread out across many miles throughout the Southwest, put us at risk for becoming drowsy while driving. Some other risk factors include lack of sleep due to our personal lifestyle, personal medical issues such as sleep apnea or use of certain medications, the use of alcohol or drugs. When you pair those with hard work and long hours, that is a deadly combination and failing to properly plan for rest periods when planning job activities. What can we do to set ourselves up for success? Our primary defense is proper scheduling and planning. Plan for those proper rest periods on distant jobs such as hotels, etc. Get your rest when you're off work. You cannot burn the candle all night and expect to be functionally safe during work, especially when you're expected to drive. Nutrition and hydration also play a big part in our mental and physical alertness. Consult your doctor if you are experiencing unusual or unexplained fatigue or sleepiness during the day. Sleep apnea is an area of concern for DOT regulation. Do not risk your life or your employment by using drugs or alcohol on the job. If you are drowsy and you have an alert passenger, let them drive for a while. If not, Sometimes pulling over for a 15 minute power nap can make all the difference. To sum up, always take the necessary precautions to avoid being a drowsy or otherwise distracted driver. Drive as if your life and the lives of those people in your vehicle depend on you, because it does. Be responsible behind the wheel. Thanks to each and every one of you for all you do every day for the safety and well being of our teammates. This is Kurt Reichard signing off for now, and I'll see you out at the next job site.